carnival rides, these Gravitron or spinning rides. Let me see how to do this here. Mm. Okay, let's uh, skip these ads. Okay, so they are spinning. So if you're in one of these spinning gravitrons, I don't, do, I don't really like spinning things. But if you spin fast enough, listen up. It feels like you're getting pushed backwards, but you aren't really getting pushed backwards. What's really happening is the wall is having to push you into the curve because you're accelerating into the curve. And, and that's the only thing that will give you that acceleration. The wall is giving you a push towards the middle because you're accelerating towards the middle. So the, the faster you go, the more you're accelerating towards the middle, the more you're accelerating, then the larger the wall needs to push you. Larger the wall needs to push you, the more in, and the more in, then you can stay up without slipping down, right? You can stay up without slipping down. So here, the floor comes out from under them, you know, it's like they're, I don't know if y'all done this, they, they can just be, they're plastered against the wall, okay? Let me, let me look at, let me look at another one uh, here. Okay, this, this is more like it. So this is spinning. It, I don't feel like it's spinning because the camera is spinning along with it. It's a little bit inclined. And so that, that's really what this glass board problem will be. We can draw the free body diagram of someone that is inclined. We're not going to put any centrifugal force right there. We just know you're spinning. If you're spinning, you've got normal acceleration. The only force that will accelerate you is the wall. And so it's like you float. I mean, it's almost like, see, yeah, you can do some really interesting and cool things. For, for something like this, if you're spinning really slow, if you're spinning really slow, you'll want to slide down, correct? You're spinning really slow, you want to slide down, so you either need the floor or, or you need friction to keep you up. But if you're spinning fast enough, sometimes you want to slide up and the friction is actually in the other direction, keeping you down. Question, Jason. Sir, you seen the first I've seen the first episode, but not, okay, no, is, is there? Is there? Link it. Let's send it to us. Started a discussion. Um, but yeah, that would that would be cool. So watch this one. You do some really interesting things, but it's all because of this normal acceleration into the curve. Um, <laughs> And we could draw that free body diagram. Now, we would probably need to sum the moments, but the sum of the forces will equal the mass times acceleration. The sum of the forces equals mass times acceleration. We'll talk about later the sum of the moments would equal I alpha. So, yeah, isn't, isn't that crazy? But why is that happening? Because he's accelerating into the, into the curve. Because he's accelerating into the curve. Okay? Someone can do that. That might even be worth a bonus point or something. <laughs>